What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today we got ourselves a Sun Ho-Oh team alongside with Alolan Executor and Chlorophyll Bioplume. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. And shout out to my boy Will for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. It looked amazing and I cannot wait to show it off. And speaking of my Instagram DMs, guys, since I'm finishing up most of the restricted mods, feel free to send me teams of any restricted mod I already used before. If they're cool teams, if they're meta teams, just send them to me over my Instagram DMs if you want a chance for me to play them. I will definitely take a look at them and possibly play them on the channel. But rocking out on this team, we got Ho over here in the top left corner. I'm actually really excited for this team, considering just looking at it, it looks amazing. But like I said, Ho is getting us started with that assault vest and the regenerator ability. This thing is very bulky, Will was saying. So maybe we can show off his bulkness in today's video. We got Secret Fire, Brave Bird, both for our stab moves, and then we got EQ and Iron Head, both for our coverage moves. Right next to him, we got a Pokemon that I think I always showed off on the channel once. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We got an Executor, a low form with a Citrus Berry and Harvest, so potentially we can eat multiple berries in a match. It's Grass and Dragon type with Giga Drain for stab, Draco Meteor for stab, Flamethrower for a coverage move, and Trick Room as our support move in case we want to try to take speed control for the battles. Amoongus is beyond my face cam as a great support mod with Regenerator and Koba Berry, and nothing new for him there with Palm Puff, Spore, Protect, and Rage Powder. We got Torkoal on the team to set the sun over here with Drought and the Choice Spec so it can do big damage in the sun if we can drop an eruption or a heat wave with the choice specs that is going to be a ridiculous amount of damage you guys already know the power of torkoal we got solar beam the two other moves were the fire moves i just said and earth power ever as our coverage move bottom left corner is another support mod with lipard pranks her ability focus sash we have copycat so potentially we can go into some max guards with executor set up a copycat trick room get a first turn trick room that's pretty cool a uh, little synergy there we used it with the palkia team a little bit ago and that was a lot of fun we also have fake tears foul play and sunny day to keep the sun control in our favor final spot is going to be vile plume who doubles his speed in the sun and is holding the blunder policy actually never use this in rank battle so hopefully we get to show it off today what it does is once vile plume misses an attack due to accuracy or evasiveness, which can happen during Sleep Powder, we go plus two on the speed board. So maybe I can try to get a Sleep Powder miss on purpose just to get the speed boost and then roll out from there. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's going to be a pretty cool team to show off. We also got Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, and Trend Sap as its final three moves. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Sun ho -Oh team. First battle coming at you guys, we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with heavy meta Pokemon right here. He has Mimikyu, Tapu Fini, Glacier, Regilecki, and Dragapult. We got to pick up this win for the off meta teams. We're doing it for the off meta teams. Hopefully we can do it. Um, I think we got to take weather control for sure here. He doesn't have anything really to change the weather besides Diamond Dynamax in and doing it. Um, do I lead a Torkoal? I could get Torkoal buzzing here. He doesn't have no Tailwind. He doesn't have no really speed control over here. Um, Vileplume is definitely going to have to come in here. We're going to go Torkoal, probably as a lead. Get that sun buzzing. I am going to go Vileplume, see if I can get a, a nice big sleep powder on whoever. I'll bring Ho-Oh in the back, and I think Executor coming in as a, in the final spot. I am liking that. I am liking that. I do want to check out speeds real quick, just so I get, get like a little feel, because I didn't do no practice matches with these guys. 99, okay, 58. We might have to set up a trick room with this team. Oh, yeah. Only fast Pokemon. Is, yeah, we should definitely set up a trick room. I'm thinking of uh, leading Executor. Over Vileplume? I mean, we have Executor. Maybe I can get a get a Trick Room in uh, later. But I could go Live Part, actually. I could go here. Let's yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's withdraw. Withdraw. Let's go Live Part. Oh, oh, and Vileplume. I'm liking that a little bit better. I am liking that because I can Dynamax Executor. I really can. And I can go into the uh, Copycat and I can set up a Trick Room. It is, that is a possibility here. Or I can just set it up with, uh, what's it called, right off the rip, with the Executor. And have Vileplume roll in the back. But yeah, I definitely need a Trick Room up in here. And I can set up a Sunny Day whenever I want. Because I have the Live Park, which is great. He's gonna go Calyrex and Tapu Fini. That's totally fine with me. And good thing I did not lead my Vileplume. Because I wouldn't be able to put any of these Pokemon to sleep. Considering they got the Misty Terrain. Your boy's thinking, your boy's thinking with the Terrains. I, I usually, uh, fail with the Terrains. But unnerves popping. Oh, you. Mm, I can't use my harvest. I can't bury up here. What you mean? <laughs> Look at Executor. <laughs> I know these ones are going to be tough battles, but um, I am going to. Do I guard? I can set up a trick room. Uh, what is he going to do? He is. 
I could oh, I could totally guard here. Let's do it. Let's guard here and set up the trick room. And then I could totally just foul play over onto you. Okay, yeah. Let's go in the copycat here. Copycat over onto the with the executor, and we're gonna get rolling with that. Because we are sash, so I think we should be fine. I can't see a big moon blast coming in up against us. Or something like that. So a max guard is gonna be great. He is gonna withdraw the Finny. Okay. That's fine. What do you think I was going into? He's gonna get out the pole. Oh my god, the foul play is gonna be able to work. But Trick Room is gonna definitely help us out uh, with this. Here goes our Dynamax. We're gonna guard. We're gonna get up a Trick Room. Oh, we're gonna get off a first turn Trick Room. Granted, I know it does waste a Dynamax turn, but I feel like it can be really good sometimes. If, it, if it's played right, it can be really, really good. Considering sometimes you get off big guards and, uh, and what's it called? And a Trick Room all in one. Here goes guard. I thought we were gonna get off a big guard, considering I thought like a moon blast was gonna pop through. I probably gonna copycat here. I'm gonna do a little front flip and send the trick room buzzing. Let's get it. I love how it does a front flip. So like, you front flip. Let me trick the room up. <laughs> trick room is in effect and substitute's gonna come out from Calyrex. That's fair. Um Okay. I think in this instance I can totally just go into a worm win. Do some big damage on you. Oh, you might swap back into uh I swap back into Finny, and in that case, I, re I really want to do this. I'm going I'm to predict the swap. I'm going to predict the swap back into Finny. And I'm going to foul play over onto the Calyrex slot. I'm going to predict the swap back. No way you stay in. You got to be thinking I'm doing a dragon move or something. I'm Dynamax. You got to be like, okay, he's dragon type. Let me swap back into Finny. See if I can make this hard read. Ah! Simple plays always win. Should have went with the simple play, man. Should have went with the dang simple play. That thing would have been gone. We would have just took him out. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax with the uh, Calyrex. I am very, very surprised. See, that would have been a huge play for us. That play can come through. Bang, super effective. Take off the substitute. Dude, that would have been such a good play for us. But come on, yo. You guys, uh, you guys also thought that, that was happening, right? You guys also thought... That that was gonna be happening. This thing is an orb. Which is nice. And Dragon Dark's gonna come out here. Um, can we eat? My part's gonna go down. And uh, what's called should we be able to eat this? Executor. We have no sun, which stinks. We have no sun. Which is actually fine because we're in a trick room. We have the grassy terrain, so we. Oh, I could go. Hmm. I'm thinking that another overgrowth will take out this uh this dragon pole. So I think an overgrowth is a safe play to do. I can go ho oh, but I kind of want to get Vileplume out here. Hmm. I could go ho oh. Just considering he's a little bit slower, but I can also go you. Be good, but no. Uh, I actually want to get Grass out here. I didn't want to get Vileplume out here. We have the Grassy Train. I think we could thrive with it. Vileplume's going to get popping. I'm going to send another Max Overgrowth over onto the left slot. That I do think it's going to take out. And if he swaps, ooh, or it can set the heat for the boys. No, we're in trick room. We're in trick room. I'm still going to drop this. So if he swaps, he swaps. Um, this problem can't come out here, but it's not very effective. I think I'm just going to uh, throw you to sleep, Calyrex. And we're going to roll from there. Is he going to swap into the Misty Terrain? He does not. Okay, so Overgrowth should be able to KO here. Considering we have the terrain boosted. So I think it should be able to pick up KO. Yeah. Cool. All right, so KO, get that thing out of here. And if we can put this Calyrex to sleep, that'd be a big turn too. So hopefully it lands. It does indeed. Let's go. <laughs> so it's it's good and bad with the blunder policy. So no, it's not good and bad. It's a good. It's a win-win if we hit or miss. Considering if we hit, we get the Pokemon to sleep. If we miss, we go plus two on speed board, which I really like. I doubt he's gonna get out top of Finny here, considering Trick Room is rolling and we have the grassy terrain. I mean, he would just change up the terrain, but still, I really don't see it coming out here. Glacier is gonna come out here. All right, so this is gonna be his Dynamax Mon, and oh, this kind of looks it's real scary for us. Real, real scary considering all this ice is just gonna dump on me. And is that thing pretty slow? I gotta put it to sleep. That's a fact. Gotta go to sleep. Um, I gotta. I want to Giga Drain and get some HP back, so I am gonna do that over on the Calyrex slot. And I am gonna go for the Sleep Powder over on the, the Glacier spot. Come well, on, we gotta land. I actually need to land the Sleep Powder here. He's definitely Dynamaxing. But I wonder what the speed is looking for this glacier. It could be really slow and it can thrive in the trick room. But like I said, I knew that this uh, this team is going to be tough to get wins with. And he's going to swap into... Okay, that's fair. That's a fair turn. And yo, wait, wait what just happened? Wait, what just happened? Oh, he left... Calyrex left and we eat our berry. That is dope. He's going to send out Finny. 
Vinny isn't going to do anything, but we are going to get off a big Giga Dream. Oh, yes, sir. Vinny is going to neglect the Sleep Powder. And I think Glacier is going to Dynamax here, which is pretty smart. You going to Dynamax? Yeah. Okay, so smart play over on his side. Um, it depends. Does Glacier outspeed my Executor? But I would see him taking out my Vileplume or so. But hopefully not. Hopefully we can get off this big Giga Drain and we get a super effective shot. Get some HP back. I think Glacier is going to be big dog and clutch it up. Unless my boy can come out here. My, uh, what's it called? Yeah, you do outspeed us in the trick room. Don't go after Executor. Okay, he goes after Vileplume. That's probably going to KO. Yeah, uh, that's scary. But it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter if he swapped or not. It really didn't matter. Because he was KOing anyway. Hail is going. Um, Chilling Nay is boosted. This stinks, man. Glacier's going to send it on us. He's just going to clap on us. Giga Jane's going to come out here. Get some big damage off on this thing. And we go back to full HP, which is solid. But the bad part is, yeah, he has Dying Max. He has Dying Max. And he's super effective against all my Pokemon. He's boosted. This dude is going nuts. Right, I have no protect on my Ho Oh. But I wonder what he's going to do here. We need Glacier gone. Dude, this is not looking good. We're harvesting, though. We harvested a berry, which is dandy. But yeah, we're dead. That's four times going to be super effective to our uh, our Executor. Uh, can I play this one? Let's get out, my boy Ho Oh. I knew this one was going to be tough. It's all right. It happens. It happens. We lose some battles. We win some. I uh, could go Flamethrower. Man, dude. I feel like we played this one decently well, though. I, th I feel like Finny might just protect. I still have to go into that and drop a Sacred Fire onto the Glace. Let's see what happens. He's just going to Muddy Water and go into a Hailstorm. No, which all the Finny. Okay. That's fine. We're still going to do some damage over onto the Calyrex slot. The Calyrex. Who's slumped? Who's absolutely slumped? And another Hailstorm is coming out here. And he unnerves me again. Biscuit man. This doesn't want me popping berries. Hailstorm's coming out. That's going to take out my executor, I believe. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Feel bad for you. He's gone, dude. Ah, uh, dang Glacier. That's probably why I should have brought the Torkoal. Because if Torkoal was here, we probably we probably would have uh, did some dirty work here. Take a fire coming out here. I was doing some nice damage on it, but still. Glacier is just an absolute beast. Probably policy as well, right? Is it policy? It's not. Wow. I wonder what item it is then. Alright, so now Glacier isn't the fastest. But he's still he's still gonna dump on us. No problem. No problem for him. Unless we get a crit here. Right? Unless we get a crit. And hopefully Calyrex is still sleeping. But I still feel like we lose. Like he still has the top of Finny in the back. He's rolling there. Calyrex is slumped. Get him out of here. We're not dealing with him. Take a fire. Get a crit. No crit. No crit. Super effective. Max Hailstorm should come out here. He's plus two boosted. That's GG's. That is GG's. Glacier is just too strong. He's just too strong, man. But not a bad first battle. I feel like if we did a few things different, we probably could have made it a little bit closer. But I don't think we were winning that one regardless. Now we're talking, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against a cool off meta team. So we got two cool teams to show off in this battle. We got my team over here looking all spiffy, and his team looking all cool as well. He has Swampert, Urshifu, Claydoli, Zacian, Tokus, and Cantonian Moltres. All right, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of it. Um, anything I really have to watch out for? I'm trying to think. I think we, uh, we can. We're fine by just going into Torkoal Vileplume, getting that buzzing, rolling out from there. He has no terrain or weather. Or speed, like uh, no tailwinds. Uh, let's Moltres can go in with tailwinds. Um, do I really go Bob? I mean, I can put Pokemon to sleep, so I'm fine with that. I'm gonna bring Ho Oh, and I think I'm gonna bring Executor into the final spot. Yeah, yeah, yo, I'm liking this. I'm liking it a lot. That scene is the fairy type, he is steel too, so I think we'll be fine. I think we are chilling just fine here. Let's get buzzing, let's get rolling, let's get after it. Yeah, dude, Torkoal, because Torkoal, the thing is, Vileplume poses a threat with all the sleep powers, but if you don't attack Torkoal, he poses a huge threat with going into eruptions or heat waves in a drought, especially Choice Spec. They don't know that, but still. But still, he goes Swampert and Zacian. Oh, uh, that's totally fine by me. Um, I can do massive damage, absolutely massive damage up against this Swampert. I might just get right after that Swampert instead of going for a uh, an attack. I think I'm going to drop a heat wave into a Solar Beam. And just get after that Swampert. That might, that might be the play. Heat Wave. Heat Wave would definitely do some work on the Zacian. And what was his other Pokemon? Like, who could he swap into? He's going to be able to eat that, this up a lot. Maybe Moltres? But, yo, dude, I'm dropping a Solar Beam. 
You give me no reason not to drop a sword. I outspeed all you guys. And you're dead. You're dead. You're dead, Swampert. I don't know why you're staying in. I don't think he, he has any other options. He's dead. He's dead. Get him out of here. <laughs> that thing out of my face. Unless he's sashed. He's not. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Uh, I wonder what Zassin's going to do. Zassin's going to go for a Behemoth Blade over onto maybe Torkoal. Torkoal would be able to eat that up. Go ahead. Show me Torkoal. Bile Plume. Eat it, Biles. Oh. That's scary. That is scary. So, Vile Plume goes, we go one for one there in the trade. That's fine. Heat Wave can come out here. That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. What you mean? Yo, dude, are you kidding me? How does that miss? Like, dude, like, Heat Wave is a pretty high accuracy move. I don't know why I miss it so often. Like, let me see this. Come here. I mean, let, me, let me tell you something. 90 it's 90 and it misses like on the daily like twice a match sometimes and it's bad all right let's check out speed real quick where i uh choose my pokemon dynamax uh we're gonna, we're gonna dynamax my boy hello -Oh. get him out here we got the bulkiness to him um we're gonna roll from there get him out here get him out shiny too it's looking gorgeous a little gold tint to it Mwah. Mwah. you're looking real good this thing is rock type this clearly which all right i'm just kind of scared of uh do i drop an eruption though now I'm truly expecting a heat wave, which I'm totally fine with. I just need to connect. I'm gonna Dynamax. I think we're gonna start trying to get some speed boosts out here. Can just drop, drop a flare. Flare could be the play. Because I totally see heat wave taking you out. And clearly he's kind of posing a decent threat to me. So I'm gonna do that. Dude, like, come on, man. I'm gonna withdraw his ass in. That's totally fine by me. I'm gonna go into Moltres. Moltres, baby. Oh, yo, shiny chicken, dude. Shiny chicken. I forget. When someone told me that, like, they're like, oh, it's the chicken bird. And now I cannot not see a chicken. <laughs> like, dude, it's so funny. And it only happened, like, this year when Sword and Shield came out when I was streaming it. I was just like, oh, yo, you gotta go get the chicken. I'm like, what? The chicken? They're like, yeah. They're like, Moltres. I'm like, wait, what? And then I looked at it close. I'm like, dude, it looks like a chicken. <laughs> then cracks you up. He's gonna Dynamax out Kaladal. Um, I'm hoping a Rockfall won't be able to take us out. Let's see, what's, let's see what's popping. He's totally looking for the rock ball. Play the Lee over here. But, dude, if that Heat Wave hits that, it's going, man. And it comes down to a 3v2. That would have been a huge turn for us. See what's happening here. We do outspeed. How much damage are we going to do on this thing? Should be able to do a decent amount of damage. See, he's bulked, man. He's bulked. He's bulked. Rock ball coming out here. He is going to change up the weather. Tough news for us. And he's going to. Oh, he's going to drop it on Torx. He's gonna drop it on Torx. Uh, that's fine. Drops it on the Torx, man. He takes weather control with that. Um, I'm gonna take it back because I know I outspeed you, which is good. And then, uh, what's it called is gonna come out here. My boy alone in the executor. And in that case, I might just pop a trigger. Might pop a trigger here. Get out of your eggs. Executor. Popping. I think I'm gonna pop a trigger here. Yeah, I'm gonna pop a trick room for the squad. Uh, could go into a steel spike, which is super effective. Get a defense boost as well. That thing's physical, right? No, I think it's it's special. It is special. The quake would be a little bit better for that special defense boost for for the peeps. Or I can change up the weather again. I say we change up the weather. Heat wave coming out here. Executor might go down here. Let's see what happens here. Get a burn on him. What you mean? Lucky special attacking. You're lucky, man. Here's my flare. Hit a crit. Do him dirty. No crit. We need that heat again. That heat would have been nice. But it is good to know that both these guys are special considering we are a soul fested. Now, if I can get off this trick room, then we're talking. Go after my bird. Go after my bird. Thank you. Soul fest. Eat up. All right. Sitting pretty good here. We're going to take a... Uh, well, Alolan Executor is going to go first, and I am going to be able to take out the Claydoly, no problem. Trick Room popping. Beautiful. So I should be able to go into a Giga Drain, take out Claydoly, no problem, and then go after this Moltres and start start doing our thing. Harvest is coming now. Thank you, Harvest. Well, not Harvest. Thank you, our Citrus Berry. Hopefully, we can harvest a new berry, too. Tantrums are coming out with Buffets. Um, I can change up weather for our control if I want to. Whatever I want to do. Whatever I want to do here. 
Harvest. Yes, executor. <laughs> Picking berries off the ground. Beautiful. Uh, Giga Drain should be able to come out here pick up the KO. Um, I'm thinking we go into a... We go into an airstream, but I really don't want the speed boost. But I rather want the defensive boost. Um, I think we have to go after it like this. Speed boost really... Ah, dude, I don't want the speed boost, though. But I think max airstream is our best bet. For damage-wise, one last turn. I think one plus one's not really going to bother us. There goes the garden. That's fine. Eudrine's not going to do much. Uh, hopefully, we can take out the small chest with this shot. Let's see. Come on, take out the small chest. That'll be lovely. Take him out. Oh, ouch. My heart, man. My heart. That one really hurts. That one really hurts. What's he going to go for? He's going to go for a hurricane. And, of course, connect. Eat this up, buddy. Oh, dude, that hurts, man. Hey, come on. Come, come on, man. My heat wave doesn't hit, but your hurricane does. And you don't die to that airstream. And you survive with the buffets. That's GG's. That's GG's. That's rough, man. Real rough. Real rough. I'll tell you right now. That's real rough. <laughs> that is real rough, man. We're going to go drop to 0-2. I thought we were doing really good that battle. I thought we played that one pretty decent, too. 0-2, super, super close battle. Super close battle, to be honest with you guys. I'm just going to run it. ho is going to survive here, and we're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get a win with this off-meta ho -Oh team. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We need a win right here, right now. There's no way we're going 0-3 for the Jeans online game. Come on, you guys know that deal. We, it just don't happen for you guys. It's, it's not a thing. It's not a thing over here at the Jeans YouTube channel. But third final battle coming at you guys. Uh, the first battle, I thought, was decently close. I feel like we could have played a little bit differently. It was, that was just a tough one. But that second battle, I feel like we should have had that win. I really do feel like we should have had that win. I thought that uh, Airstream would have been able to take out that Moltres. I think our Heat Wave should have hit. And, and it, it was just a... It was just a terrible outing for your boy in that last one. But hopefully we can pick up ourselves this win. We're going up against a Charizard uh, Sun team? Yeah. Cool. Or oh, Venusaur in there too. I didn't see him. And Zassian again. So a very meta Sun team here compared to our off-meta Sun team. So hopefully we can we can get this one going. Uh, he does have Intimidate, which I'm very special attack in there. I really am. I think I'm full-blown special attack. I don't think I have one physical attacker on this team. Oh, no. We have Ho-Oh. We have the Ho-Ohs. Um... I think I have to lead my my Vile Plume with the Veen combo. I, I think we're going to go same squad. I think this is the play. I really am liking this. All right, let's buzz it. Let's get after it. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty. He can Tailwind up. Um, I don't think he's going to lead the Torkoal. I think he's going to lead the uh, maybe Zacian alongside with Whimsicott. That is a thing. That is a thing. And in that case, I'm going to just be like, Mwah, I'll take you a night call, put that thing to sleep. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw him a spicy, a spicy sleep powder and roll from there. But dude, I, I really thought we were gonna win that last battle. I really did. He guarded at the right time, he did, with the Claydoly. But still, I was like, dude, this airstream's gonna take him out and we're gonna be thriving here. There was no way I wasn't gonna not put or predict a guard. That would have been way too risky. But he goes Charizard into Whimsy. Okay. We're going into these boys. We're gonna drop a big old eruption. Do I drop the eruption? Or I think I play it safe and drop the heat wave. I think I dropped the heat wave. Choice back into the heat wave. And I say, hey, Charizard. Come here. Charizard. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. Let me let me tell you something. Let me let me put you to sleep, buddy. Let me do that. Let me do that to you. Go ahead, Dynamax. Do it. Do it, you softy. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Uh-huh. That's what I like to see. What I like to see, unless he's holding the Lumberry, and then, <laughs> he's, then he's playing real good. He's going to die to Max Charizard. This could be real good for your boy. This could be real good. All right, so we're going to roll out here. And now let's see what happens here. Dude, let's see what's popping. Yeah, when there's no way, there's no way you outspeed my Vileplume. He, he is going to outspeed my Vileplume. Wow, we messed up. We messed up. I hate this game. I hate this game. game stinks. It's real bad. It's a real bad game. Probably one of the worst games ever. To be honest with you guys. This thing is orbed. Did not account for that trick room. Burn that one's cop for me. Burn him. Nope. Sash coming out. Dang it, man. Solar power. Sucking up some life from that. Uh, Coco oh, oh, here. 
I think I am gonna Dynamax you. His tail would boost it. Could get Executor out here, but dude, he's just gonna dump him. Man, I can't do anything. We're gonna get Hello out. That, that's our play. We gotta start speed boosting on our own. No Trick Room Senior. Torkoal's just gonna drop another Heat Wave, and we're gonna roll from there. He does have Airstream. He probably has Solar Power. Is all all evil. So I am going to go here. I am going to Airstream. I want to Charizard slot, and we're gonna drop another Choice Spec Heat Wave. But I think we should be able to pick up the KO on the Charizard here. I don't think he can take out the Torkoal or the Ho-Oh in this instance. We're fine. Hey, dude, I didn't account for the Tailwind, man. <laughs> I didn't account for the Prankster Tailwind coming out before and boosting that Charizard speed. Because usually when you throw out a Chlorophyll Pokemon, you're like, yeah, he's the fastest on the field. Nothing's really messing with him. But, yeah, there's some instances like that where it's just like, yeah, uh, okay, he's just going to outspeed me and uh, he's going to dump on me. But we're not going to be able to show off the Blunder Policy today, which I'm kind of sad about. The Blunder Policy is cool. It is really cool, because if you miss yo, you're basically getting top tier next turn. Plus two speed, it's basically a tailwind just for you. He's going to drop a helping hand here before he goes out. I think he's going to try to take on my ho oh and he is going to drop a airstream. On the Torkoal, probably, to be honest. No, ho oh which we totally eat up. And this could be huge for us. This could be huge for us, because I think we take out the Charizard and the Wimsky here. If my heat wave hits. That's a, that's a big if. Because he's got to still take solar power damage, and he's got to take this airstream damage and this heat wave damage. Yo, uh, solar power should take it out. But yo, Torkoal. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it, buddy. Thank you, Torkoal. Woo! Good work, buddy. Good work. Torkoal doing that. They have Tailwind, but we are plus one on each speed board. Um... Who else does he have? Who else do I think he brought? He definitely got to bring Venusaur, right? I got, like, a, a Venusaur is definitely in effect here, right? There's no way there's two Torkoals on both teams and you didn't bring Venusaur. I can see him bringing Venusaur and Torkoal. Hmm. Zacian, okay. I'm with it. And Torkoal. I'm confused to why he brought the Torkoal. My Torkoal outspeeds, which is wonderful. Um, I could go here and just quake up. I kind of rather steal Spike, but I think like I have to quake up. I feel like I have to do damage onto this thing right here. Or do I take speed? Now he's gonna have speed for a little bit. Um, I feel like we have to do this. I have to do damage on this Torkoal because I cannot just have it erupting and doing work. But we're both fire, which is nice. I have my Executor in the back. Wow. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Why are you rocking wild charge? <laughs> Yo! Why is my dude rocking wild charge? Dude's nuts. Quake's coming out here. Yo, I was not expecting that. Big quick damage, we get a special defense boost. So Torkoal, I don't really think it's doing much against my Pokemon. He might be able to take out my Hello from here. And my Torkoal goes first for some reason. And let's go! Let's get it! That's how it's done. Yo, your Meta Sun team stands no chance. Stands no chance for the boys back home. Stands no chance. Let's go. Two or not two and one. One and two for today's video. Played pretty solid. Shout out to my boy Will for dropping this team for me. I absolutely loved it. From the moment I saw it, I was like, yo, this one's going to be fun recording. It's going to be cool to use an off-meta Sun team and try to throw off people with a bunch of cool Pokemon like Vileplume and Executor, especially a low form Executor. Just such a fun Pokemon to use. Very funny looking, too. It just rocks out all around. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.